Hi guys, welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson and today we're talking about Abraham Hicks and Esther Hicks. So if you don't know about Abraham Hicks, I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. Here are five of my favourite lessons from Esther and Abraham Hicks. Um, before I go into it, please do like, share and subscribe. Comment down below if you enjoyed the video. I'm here at the channel and I'm making the spiritual simple. You know, I'm making healing simple, manifestation simple, creation simple. Let's simplify all this stuff. And now I want to talk about Abraham Hicks, one of my favorite teachers. Please do like, share and subscribe. Comment down below. If you're new to the channel, check out the video. Give me a like. If you're not new to the channel, give me a like now and a comment down below. Also, join my free Facebook group, The Healing Circle, where we help each other to heal, create and manifest. Lastly, I have my flagship online course, The Healing Factor, coming out by the end of this week or beginning of next and if you want to pre-order it now you're going to save yourself a fair bit of money it is a very well priced course cheap course but you can save even more now by getting on it but it is the best course on healing you'll ever have i promise you that now guys abraham hicks let's go into this abraham hicks who is she well there was a couple called jerry and esther hicks okay now they loved uh spirituality they were going into it um, they, they met a few other spiritual teachers. Now, um, the name of who has just slipped my mind, funny enough. I need to start writing some notes down, uh, but this is just coming from the heart, okay? But they were working with this uh, spiritual teacher who channeled a entity, and that entity's name is just leaving my mind. But anyway, so Esther and Abraham Hicks, they're, they're the same person. <laughs> Jerry was the husband, Esther's the wife, Esther channels, a collective, a collective energy that calls itself Abraham and speaks through her and teaches on the law of attraction and uh, uh, various other modalities of this wonderful spiritual work. And actually, if you go and check out some of her videos, some of you are watching this, have probably seen her videos. Once you get beyond that idea that she's channeling uh, energy, she, what, she, what is coming through her is magic. So I'm gonna jump into five top lessons from Abraham Hicks, okay? The first lesson that I want to drop into is she constantly saying you just need to chill out. I want to literally break that down ever so slightly. You need to chill out. Why is that? Well, actually what she's saying is, is it's, it's the idea of stop trying to control everything. It's the idea of surrender said in such a simple way. So I use this all the time actually, in my uh, methodology. So sometimes when I'm creating, trying to uh, create content, help others be more of a useful to others through this work that I'm doing, sometimes when I'm coming up against it and I'm just feeling a, a little like I'm working a bit too hard, she says, go chill out. Well, I will, I'll go for a walk, I'll relax, let go, forget about it, go grab a coffee at my favorite place, sit in my chair, sit, meditate for a bit. You know, whatever it is that just breaks the cycle of this humanistic effort, this effort that we think we need to put in to create. The truth is, is that your creation is going to happen when you intend it. You let go, relax, believe you already have it. It shall be yours. So when you chill out, you put going in the energy of least of, of I'm going to I'm going to say a few of her phrases soon, but I want to save them because I want to keep them as the lessons. You're going to take the path and just let go and relax and it's going to allow that good to come to you so chill out if you can if you can take one huge lesson from abraham hicks you just need to chill out if you feel like you're trying too hard time to chill out you feel like you're not getting anywhere it's time to chill out it's her favorite bit of advice and it's her best bit of advice i've had to say well one of them anyway so that's why i started with it and so number two number two guys Okay, one of my favorite ones here is um, that sh your wish, your manifestation is already in the vortex. Now, what's the vortex? That is what she calls the place of, of energy, of creation. You know, your, your, your manifestation is already in this vortex of energy. Now, you just need to align to that energy and it will come. And what that means for me and why I love that, I say it often with this, once you intend something, it's already done. So the, the manifestation, the money you want, it's already done. The healing is already done. So what I mean is, is you don't need to keep going back over what you want to create. 
And when she says it's in the vortex, she means that you just need to align to that energy. Now this bring, will bring me on to number three in a minute. But basically, once you intend something, my friends, so a lot of you who are on my channel are intending a healing. So when you first made the decision to heal yourself, you intended it and you said, I'm gonna do this. So it's already done. So you don't need to keep taking note of where you are because the creation is already done in the vortex. Neville Goddard and other teachers put it another way, but I really love this. And so it brings me on to number three. You know, she says, make it about how you feel rather, rather than about what you're manifesting. Love that. I mean, it's, that's just so huge. And I, take, and I use that with all my coaching as well. So make it about how you feel. So what that means is that she's saying your feelings are the creative energy that bring you what you want. So if you can maintain that feeling, and what do I say on this channel? Maintain peace, harmony, ease, chill out. <laughs> Just maintain that peace, harmony, and ease. That, that creation that's already in the vortex is then going to manifest into physicality for you and become your reality. So just need to make it about how you feel. Don't make it about how you feel. Not even about the effort you're gonna put in. Make it about how you feel. Don't keep taking note. Don't keep checking in. Don't keep doing this, okay? And so when you're making it about how you feel, you say, well, if I'm feeling happy, chilled out, relaxed, loving, peaceful, harmonious, then dap, then something beautiful is about to happen. I just need to stay here. I just need to stay here longer and just trust that staying here is enough. And that's the bit that I think we find very difficult sometimes. So make it about how you feel because that creation's already in the vortex and it's gonna come out some time to chill out. You see how those three merge together. Now, my, one of my favorites is, is sometimes it's hard to go from that feeling of number four, by the way, guys. Sometimes it's hard to go from that feeling of, um, you know, anxiety to gratitude. So I've always said to my clients, you know, you can't add gratitude onto anxiety. It's just never going to, your brain's never going to take it. You know, so I have my methodologies that I won't go into on this video to bring you to that peaceful place where you can then start to express gratitude, you know. But she has a wonderful form that I love and I think everyone should remember. Just go to the next best feeling thought. Oh man, that is so big because it said once you get momentum in that direction, she says, once you get energetic momentum in that direction to the next best feeling thought, then it is about to come. So often we're taught to um, affirm and say, I am wealthy now, I'm healthy now. Well, with that next best feeling for, sometimes you can just say, well, I know it's on its way. It's on its way and I'm chilling out. It's on its way, it's happening. I'm getting better every day, you know? So when you're in anxiety, you go to the next best feeling for, which may be, um, you know, from anxiety, she has a full spectrum of these, you know, that we could go into, but you go from anxiety to then sort of maybe a little bit of anger. That's a better energy than anxiety. Then anger goes to a more sort of like mellow sort of frustration. Then frustration goes to, oh, you know, everything's actually not too bad. Then everything's not too bad goes to, I'm starting to feel a little bit sprightly. And the sun's shining, that feels nice. Then it goes to, ah, oh, uh, blah, blah, you know, blah, 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 all the way up to gratitude. You know, so just get the next best feeling for. That is gonna shift your energy towards the right direction. And then, um, I just wanna have um, one other sort of thought here. Think about that though. Think about all the things I've just said to you. It's all about surrender. It's all about knowing it's already done. It's all about making it about how you feel because your feelings create your reality. And then it is just about finding the easiest pathway to that feeling and not trying to jump from one to 10, from anxiety to bliss. It just ain't gonna happen. So, it makes, so her whole teachings are very relaxing, very easy. But what is the hard part about her teachings is it's hard to let go and trust that it's enough, but it is enough. And just as a little bonus, I love it when she does a rampage of positivity. So I'm gonna do a health rampage for you guys, okay? So this health rampage just goes, I'm starting to understand that I'm feeling that connection to the divine 
I realise that my body responds to my thoughts and feelings and I'm going to start to trust that my thoughts and feelings are the indicator of how my health is going to go. I'm starting to get more and more interested in my feelings. I'm starting to know that my feelings are feeling good. I'm starting to feel good. I feel good right now because of this rampage. Now that I feel good, I can tell that my chemical reactions in my body from my brain are starting to evoke the genetic expression of health. When I connect to that genetic expression of health, my body literally just in this moment right now is starting to go to the all-powerful feeling the divine is flowing through me giving me healing energy throughout my entire body my body is responding so beautifully I'm a healthy being brought on this planet to live express love have joy peace harmony and I surrender to that joy peace and harmony now I want to live this joyful and happy life and I know that I already am I love that I'm in a more happy place right now I love that my feelings taking me towards my destiny and my destiny is not written in the stars it's written by me and I know now that I am destined to be healthy well and joyous and prosperous loving harmonious and I'm all good things that this life has to offer now in this moment now and I love that my body feels that way I hope you enjoyed the video guys oh my gosh I love doing that for you I'll see you guys at the next one remember to like share and subscribe and check out my healing course, The Healing Factor. Take care, guys.